In this video, we're going to begin taking a look at volume and surface area with a rectangular solid. First, we need to know the difference between volume and surface area. If we're talking about volume, we're talking about how much it's going to take to fill it up. And the units should be cubed because there's three dimensions, height, width, and depth. If we're talking about surface area, we're not filling it anymore as much as we are covering it. And surface area, because we just have length and width, is going to have square units. On a rectangular solid, there's several dimensions that have to be considered. One would be the length of it, one would be the width or depth, and another would be the height, how tall it is. And the way we calculate the volume of a rectangular solid is we multiply the length times the width times the height. The way we calculate the surface area, or how much it takes to cover it, we take two times parentheses, the length times the width, plus the length times the height, plus the height times the width. Let's take a look at some examples where we use these formulas to find volumes, or fill things, or surface areas, which we use to cover things. In this first example, Southwest Airlines allows a maximum size carry-on bag, or rectangular solid, with a length of 24 inches, a width of 10 inches, and a height of 16 inches. And we want to know how much can be packed in this maximum sized bag. If we're going in the maximum sized bag, what we're looking for is the volume. We're filling it. And the formula for volume was simply length times width times height. The length given to us in this problem was 24 inches times the width, which we were told was 10 inches, times the height, which we're told is 16 inches. We can quickly multiply together 24 times 10 times 16 to get 3,000. Let's do it in green. 3,840 inches times inches times inches are inches cubed. And this is the volume of our carry-on bag, 384 cubic inches. Let's try another example. Here, a seamstress is covering a box that's 8 centimeters long, that's our length, 5 centimeters high, and 4 centimeters wide, with material on all sides, including the top and bottom. How much material does she need to cover the box? Because she's just covering the box, not filling it, we need to use the surface area formula which is 2 times, in parentheses, length times the width, plus length times the height, plus the height times the width. Plugging in the values we have, 2 times the length, we said it was 8 centimeters long, times the width, that's how wide it is, 4 centimeters, plus the length, Again, was 8 centimeters, times the height. How tall is this box? 5 centimeters, plus the height. We just said the height was 5 centimeters, times W, the width, 4 centimeters wide. And now we have a large order of operations problem. Inside parentheses, we'll multiply first. So we have 2 times, 4 times 8 is 32 square centimeters, 5 times 8 is 40 square centimeters, and 5 times 4 is 20 square centimeters. We can add that all together next in parentheses. 32 plus 40 plus 20 is 92 square centimeters, because we're combining like terms. And finally, 2 times 92, it's 184 square centimeters. Volume fills the box, surface area covers the box.